questions. Um, today I have with us Craig Duswalt. Um, Craig's an author, he's an entrepreneur, uh, a public speaker, uh, and he's also the creator of Rockstar System for Success, How to Achieve Rockstar, rockstar Status in Your Industry. Did I leave anything out, Craig? He calls me up and I toured with Guns N' Roses for four years as Axel's personal manager. And then after that, I uh, uh, went into uh, marketing and I became, a, uh, I owned an advertising agency and I did that for a little while. And then I became a speaker in 2006. I went to a seminar by mistake. Fate put me there, became a speaker. And now I speak all over the country, teaching people how to become rock stars in their industry by doing things a little bit different than everyone else does them and doing things very, very outside the box. And I do these um, rock star entrepreneur conferences every March and September in Los Angeles. And I speak pretty much every weekend somewhere in America. <laughs> Well, cool. Well, um, you know, I, there's so many things that I want to talk to you about, but I know we, we have just a little bit of time here. So there's a couple of things I really want you to jump in on. And, you know, that's your, um, your, your Rockstar System for Success, your membership site, your books, and your conference. You know, and I actually have, I've got the book. I, I read the book, um, and I'm actually going back through it again. There's a lot of great strategies, guys. If you have not read Craig's book, The Rockstar System for Success, You've got to pick this book up. It's a quick read. You can do it in a night or two. Take yeah. lots of notes. It's incredible, and it'll make you think differently. Um, so, Craig, tell us a little bit about it. There's a quote in here that I want to, to mention that you you wrote down, or you, you said that rock stars are not overnight successes. Mm. So expound on that a little bit, because from my own information is, you know, we as entrepreneurs, we want to get it now. Yeah, everyone and, wants it now. Yeah. So, so tell us a little, little bit about that quote that you put in the book. So I became a speaker in 2006, and I did have a pretty fast rise to success in the speaker world, but it's because of all the years leading up to that, I had all this information of touring with Guns N' Roses for four years, Air Supply for six years, owning an advertising agency for like 10 years, and, and I was in marketing basically for 25 years, and because of all those things, that's why... This took off so much, and that's when the Rockstar System for Success was born, figuring, all right, I could use the same principles that I teach in how to save a ton of money in marketing and advertising, just switch the uh, brand around and just do that in Rockstar Marketing. So I did all these things, uh, and, and I built a foundation, but I wasn't an overnight success, and rock stars are definitely not overnight successes. Yes. So it's a process. You got to do some stuff and you got to figure out what you are, who you are. And when that process takes effect, it takes like one or two years, then your brand starts to mold into whatever you think it should be. But it is a process. No one is born overnight. And yeah, we all want to get rich quick, but it is hard work and it's like you got to do the stuff. You got to do the work. Yeah. I'm well, glad. tell us a little bit about your, um, your membership site. And that's another part of the Rockstar System for Success. Yeah. You know, the uh, – my membership site has been growing for years. It's been uh, it's five years old right now. Um, uh, it just started out with a bunch of articles and a bunch of blog posts and a bunch of things that I just threw up on a website. But it's grown so much. I think there's over 1,000 pages now. And there's uh, all uh, – we're, we're dispersing throughout the year. All of my old Rockstar Marketing Boot Camps – are going to be on the membership site. So it's rockstarsystemforsuccess.com. It's $497 for the year, and uh, you just get to renew every year if you want to. And basically, so I've had like Brian Tracy, Mike Koenigs, Barbara DeAngelis, Laura Langmeyer, um, huge, huge, huge speakers. Uh, all their presentations and all my old boot camps are on video on the membership site. So it's just a one-stop shop that everything Rockstar, everything I do, we grab it and then we put it on the site. The books are on the site. The tips are all on the site. The articles, the videos, everything is on that site. And it's rockstarsystemforsuccess.com. And it's just a great place to go to find everything about Rockstar Marketing. Like that. So, yes. you know, I've got some of the readers on our site that they're either thinking about setting up membership sites or are in the process of doing it. Can you give us some tips or you know what you went through to set up yours, um, any kind of struggles you've had, or, or what have you overcome, things like that. Yeah. Well, I did a, um, I did it the right way at the time, but now it's, um, I wouldn't say it's the wrong way; it's the more expensive way. I went with a site called MemberGate, 
And at the time, they were huge in the in the um, membership site. It was four thousand dollars for them to create my membership site. Well, there's this little website called WordPress, and on WordPress, which is a blog, and it's actually websites now. Everyone's building their websites through WordPress. Well, there's something. There's a I don't know if it's called an attachment or a widget, but called Wishlist. W i s h l i s t, and it's pretty much like for two hundred dollars, I think it is. You basically build your own membership site there, and you can collect money through that. So I always tell people to go take all your information. So if you write a book, for example, you can repurpose the book, the tips in the book, into individual blog posts or articles, and just build up your pages that way. If you're blogging, take all your blog posts and put them on the membership site. Take all the information, articles that you write, videos that you do, just put it into the website and make it this one-stop shop because people will pay. To see everything in one space instead of having to go on Google and find little pieces everywhere, and that's what the membership site is. You get to find everything, and there's things on that site that you cannot get on、um, regular websites that I put in there, which make people want to go to the membership site. But wish list is where I'm going to go. I'm going to transfer everything over from that to wish list because it's it's a very、um, a search engine optimizationable. If that's a word,、um, uh, it's it's much better working with WordPress than it, is, than it is with my current membership site. Here's a here's a great blog tip. I want to I want to share this that I'll be sharing at my thing. I always tell people, how do you get more people to love your blog? You know, I I think you should blog every single day. It's free and it's easy to do, and it doesn't have to be a long blog. It could just be a short, like five sentence blog. But I always tell people, write. This is an outside the box marketing tip. Write this. Part two of whatever. So, if I were to write an article on、uh, marketing outside the box, I would write part two of how to market your business using outside the box secrets. So, what happens is they read this part two blog, and now they're like, "Oh, there! I love this blog. Where's part one?" <laughs> so they go through all my other blogs because they're trying to find part one of this, and there is no part one. They so, but it, what it makes them do is read all the other blogs or go through all your stuff to try to find part one because part two was so good, but there is no part one. It is an incredible trick to get people to read through your blogs. Yeah. And, and, and on that subject, you know, how do you drive traffic? Traffic gears. I mean, I, I know you're world known now, and you've got all your stuff. But but how, when you started, how do you get people to your site?、Um, you know, word of mouth. Do you do you advertise? What do you do on、no. Google? Or what just? And you say you don't pass out business cards, so. No, no. I pass out books sometimes, right? But all I—if you have one place where everyone goes to, like mine is CraigDoeswalt.com. I have one website that I drive everyone to from various places, and if you do that, you only have to do one website and one place. Then it's easy to get tra- people there because every time I post on YouTube, every time I post on Facebook, I always say like, for more information, please go to www.CraigDoeswalt.com. Everywhere I go, so、uh, when I speak, I tell my, my website. When I、uh, uh, when I'm in a Kansas City Chief chat room, and I'm talking about Kansas City Chiefs because I'm a huge Chief fan, we always talk about the Chiefs, and then sooner or later the conversation goes to. So what do you do now? And I say, oh, I'm a motivational speaker, and you can see me at CraigDoeswalt.com. So everyone sees that post, and they all go to CraigDoeswalt.com, and they realize, wow, this guy's a Chief fan, and he's teaching marketing. I need marketing. So I'm going to go to his thing because we have something in common. The chief. If you have one website and one place you send everybody from offline and online marketing, it's easy. You just send everybody to one place, and then they tell somebody, and they tell someone. I don't do Facebook ads. I don't do Google ads. I don't advertise. It's all word of mouth. You know, and that's another incredible secret tip. Now. Um, I know I heard on another、uh, interview you did that you do affiliate marketing and you do this kind of the same thing. You go to different blogs and talk to people, and then、mm-hmm. you plug in an affiliate link. Is that what you said? Yeah,、uh, I do a lot of that. So it's it's gotten to the point where I actually make money now <laughs> at it, and I'm making pretty decent money every month. There's so many ways to do it, but just because of time, basically the bottom line is this: you go to cj.com, which stands for Commission Junction, so cj.com or shareasale.com, and there's millions of others, and you just start signing up for affiliates that have something to do with your brand. So, let's just say you're a wedding planner and you teach people about, you know, how they register for their wedding and all these things. Well, you're an affiliate of Nordstroms and Macy's and all these places, 
and you write a blog about when you're doing your registra- registering for your wedding, make sure you go to Nordstrom's because they have great dinner plates there or something. And when they click on, and, and then you little have a little hyperlink that says Nordstrom's in your blog, and they click there because they want to see what's available to register for their thing. Well, every time someone buys something from that link, you get like a percentage because it's your link because you signed up as an affiliate for that thing. So imagine you blog about all these things in the world and every time you talk about something, you send them to a link that you're an affiliate of and do that like 10 times a day in a blog and you just it's just little clicks. They just click through. Now I have shopping carts. I even have GoDaddy. I, I tell people to go to GoDaddy and sign up and it would be the same price as if they went through my affiliate link as they go to GoDaddy. But what I offer them is if they go through my link, I'll walk them through how to set this up or whatever. And just little by little, all these clicks somewhere else, if they buy something, I get a very little percentage of it, but it just adds up over time. And now I'm making like three to $4,000 a month just by people clicking on my affiliate links. And there's way more. I mean, I have an affiliate link for if you get your affiliate link for my boot camp and you sell a ticket using your affiliate link, I give you 50, five, zero percent of the sale of that ticket to come to my conference. Like we have that going on as well. So I have a lot of affiliate things going on. Well, that's incredible. I do have some affiliate links. I'm a member of CJ. I'm a member of Share Sale. I have those. You know, we're near what you guys have, what you're pulling down. And I'm also a member affiliate of Craig Doeswald. Um, I have my deal there. Um, and I, I have, you know, when I do my articles, I, I plug you. I plug you on Twitter with my little link. So yeah. uh, hopefully that's going to pay off. But, uh, you know, those and, are- does, and, and you know what the key is? It doesn't pay off right away. Right. You got to build up the trust of the people that you're, you're, um, if you have a blog and you get a lot of people following your blog because you're interesting and you're, you're, you, they love what you're talking about, that's when you build up the trust. And that's when it's been like, you know, three years that I've been doing this affiliate marketing. And only this year is when it really, st- it's always made a little bit of money. But what happened this year, it just really started taking off. There's a growing thing. And what happens is most people go, ah, this doesn't work and I'm out. And they build all this thing up and then they, just before they're about to start making some money, they say, oh, it's not working, I'm out. you got to stay the course with affiliate marketing, and sooner or later, it does pay off. I want to close with this. So if you're if a new entrepreneur is just starting out, what kind of, kind of business advice would you give them? Um, just If somebody just uh, saw Craig Deswalt, what do I want to do? Um, you know, I, I, I say this is my stock answer. Um, I, I truly believe this, that... I can teach you all the marketing in the world. I can teach you how to start a business. I can teach you all the tips on running a business and all those things on how to become successful. But if you don't show up, I call it show up, if you don't show up to things that you commit to or to things that will help you grow personal in your personal life and your business life, then no matter what I teach, you're just not going to do it because you're not going to be that person. So they do. So so show up. You know, so put, you know more excuses. Show up. Let's do it. 